BFE. That is clean. Pretty lightweight. So that's everything inside the box, you get some extra grip, some extra PTFE skates. But yeah, let's go ahead and focus on the mouse. This right here is the Attack Shark X A Jazz AJ159 Apex. One of the first things that caught my eye was definitely the charging dock, and I'm guessing it's also gonna be the dongo. And it also has a screen. It kind of reminded me of the first Beast X with the screen dongo. But this one, it's also a wireless charging dock now. So you can just poop, put your mouse up here. I'm sure this LED light will probably light up if it's charging. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in later and check it out. But for now, let's go ahead and focus more on the mouse. Starting with the switches, this has the 100 million clicks Huono switches. And here's how they sound like. They sound pretty okay, but how do they feel like? They're pretty responsive and snappy. There's a little bit of post-travel and very minimal pre-travel. I have no problems on how they feel, pretty good clicks and switches. Now going to the scroll wheel, it has a rubberized scroll wheel over here, so very nice, they're not slippery. Their texture is also pretty nice. Pretty defined steps, very easy to spam as well. I have no problems with the scroll wheel. Now for the side buttons, when I was clicking them earlier for the sound test, I could already tell they're mushy. They're not really the most snappy, I would say, but they're still usable. They, they'll probably work like a normal side button would. There is quite a lot of post travel, so you should definitely not press down too much over here especially on the side of the side button as you can see because it really goes down i'm not sure what material they used here it's kind of like a glossy material but it kind of sticks to the skin so whenever you press it out and then you try to let go as soon as possible i don't know if you can hear it not really a deal breaker there's still side buttons that work well it's just not the best feeling for me and it can definitely have some improvement. Those are gonna be my opinions on the buttons and the switches. Now let's go ahead and move on to the weight. Now they claim it's around 56 grams, but let's go ahead and see. Now first actually let me peel off the film on the skates. Is this a space for a dongle? What? I'll just get rid of it then so it'll become lighter. But okay, let's see. 57 grams so pretty close to the 56 grams they claim very lightweight as well 57 now that's for the weight let's go ahead and proceed to the shape when i saw this it reminded me of the shape of the pulsar x2 which has a pretty noticeable hump at the back over here and low front and they're actually quite close i'll flash some pictures from illoshapes.com so that you can go ahead and see it much clearer but how does it actually feel like well, with my hand size, I have 18 by 8 centimeters. I'd say the mouse size is perfect for my hand size. Now for my grip though, I kind of have a claw, like a little palm grip, weird hybrid thingy. But I really like using the hump over here, and the hump of this mouse is actually pretty good. It does give you that more stable grip and more control, which I really like. So if you really like a mouse with a hump, this is a good mouse as well. For claw grip users, I can see you liking this mouse a lot. Another thing I noticed is the curves on this mouse. They do have pretty noticeable curves. And as you can see, it kind of curves over here at the middle. And for my grip at least, I can feel that curve. Since I have my ring and pinky finger over here, I do feel that curve 
curving in the middle over here but not really a big problem i just have to get used to it and yeah so far no problems with the shape i like it the hump's pretty good i would recommend this for claw grippers the most but if you fingertip i can also say this is a good fingertip mouse but again the curves are kind of noticeable if you fingertip so you will kind of have to get used to it now for palm grippers i can also see you having an amazing experience with this mouse it does feel pretty comfortable the solid shell is also pretty nice i like it this mouse shape i think is definitely made for medium to small sized hands but if you have large hands i can still see you having a pretty good experience with this mouse but again, it will be personal preference. Anyways, enough with the shape. Let's go ahead and proceed to the durability. Now this has a solid plastic shell and it is built quite good. I cannot get it to flex. There is no creaking at all. I have no problems with the build quality of this mouse. Now for the looks, as you can see, I have the orange variation over here. I thought it looked really good. The color orange, it kind of pops and I think it will fit my setup pretty well. And of course, whatever color you pick, the dongle will also have that same color. And they do have an orange, a blue, a black, and a white variation. So you do have some options. That's really nice. Now for the battery, it has a 400 milliamp hour battery. Now they don't really give any exact number on how many hours it will last. But they claim that you can use it for 5 hours for 10 minutes of charging. Which is pretty nice, especially having this dock over here, you know what I'm saying? Just pop that in and then wait for 10 minutes you got five hours let's go game ready <laughs> and you don't truly really have to worry about it dying i guess since the screen over here can display the battery level you can also display the mouse status you can also put custom gifs connection mode date and time and much more apparently let's go ahead and check it out later now what about the performance of this mouse now that's another thing that actually caught my attention other than the dongle over here because it has the, the paw3950 which is pretty latest it can go up to 8000 hertz polling rate so that's really responsive and considering all of that for only around 66 dollars these specs sensor wise and the polling rate is definitely top notch and can compete with the high tier mouses bro anyways it has pretty high specs pretty responsive but what does it actually feel like in game let's go ahead and plug it in it's displaying 2.4 gigahertz wireless mode and there's a there's some buttons down here it has like a light bulb i'm guessing it's for the rgb oh there's another button at the back over here that i'm curious what it does but if i'm gonna guess it's probably gonna be changing the display so right now it's 2.4 gigahertz okay it's not doing anything let me let me see the manual there's also some film you can remove by the way at the back of the dongle over here that is that sticks that is solid in there it's not moving <laughs> so under here we have bluetooth mode and wireless mode we also have a dpi polling rate switch button over here but okay let's go ahead and go wireless mode okay i have the software over here i think it's, it's this one they forgot to put the one over here it's the aj59 apex okay that, i think this is the one right software okay let me also download the firmware no firmware available so okay please be sure to unzip the zip file before using it unzip the zip file first unzip the zip okay so we do have a screen edit over here my board oh what's this i can write my own frames paint brush okay so you can update the firmware on the software okay we're already at the latest version this software is so freaking customizable what the freak okay but this is for the screen very very customizable you can upload picture upload animation save you can even customize your own okay now for the mouse let's go ahead and go here 2.4 g i'm guessing now we have key function over here so you can customize that of course combination macros media mouse okay other settings we have key sensitivity we have 2.4 standby time so this is like the sleep mode i'm guessing okay we also have the dpi over here you can also just press this one below here parameter okay so you can change the polling rate over here i'm putting in 8000 hertz we have double click interval time which is i'm guessing debounce time 
they're changing a lot of the names here <laughs> silent height is this like my lift off distance so yeah you can set the macros here you can share your settings account and about okay I want to go ahead and customize my dongle a bit more. Okay, I've figured out what the button behind does, bro. Changes the screen. I, I was right. For some reason, the button is a bit loose, I think. Because sometimes if you press it, it doesn't work at all. Okay, now it's not changing again. But I got it to change by clicking the button at the back of the dongle. But gladly, you can go ahead and upload a picture or a GIF. So let's go ahead and try doing that. Let's go ahead and try this one. Confirm that. Okay, there we go. It uploaded the whole picture GIF. So let's go ahead and upload this animation then. Oh, there, there it is. Amazing. <laughs> now you can have your waifu over here or your MC character, whatever. Okay, enough with the dongle. Let's actually go ahead and test its polling rate, 8000 hertz. Okay, let's see how accurate this 8000 hertz is. Okay, okay. I'll expect nothing less with a mouse that has a 3950 sensor. Very nice. Wait, we forgot one thing about the dongle. Let's go ahead and actually try the wireless charging feature. So, just pull up that over there. Wow! It's so easy to tell that it's charging. As you can see, it's lighting up red over here. And then... It's also showing the charging animation over here and it's going through all of the settings. It's also very easy because it just snaps in place. Like, okay, I want to charge, just put it easily there and boom. It just guides itself in because it has some magnets on there. But yeah, let's actually go ahead and test it in game. One kill remaining. Want that for the last one? One more. One minute remaining. Thirty seconds left. Okay. Ten seconds left. This is our victory. Now, after playing with the mouse for a bit, I love it. The eight thousand hertz, thirty nine fifty, a charging dock, wireless charging, even a screen on your dongle. That is a lot of features for $66. A little disclaimer by the way, this mouse is not sent to me. I bought this with my own money. But even though if it's sent to me, I would tell you guys my honest opinions. But yeah, this is all my honest review. No one paid me to say this. But yeah, so far my experience is very smooth, very responsive. I love it. The shape's also pretty good. I really like the hump. The mouse has all of the settings and features you need. And of course the dongle, very customizable as well. I'm just a little bit confused on the button at the back still. I think it does work, but it just takes a lot of time before it actually registers what it does. But yeah, the button at the back definitely changes the display from what I've noticed. I don't know if it's just my unit that has that delay on the dongle, but other than that, the performance of the mouse is so good. There's definitely no delay on that. Very responsive definitely won't hold you back when you're gaming the weight is also pretty nice i could aim with it pretty amazingly move the mouse smoothly i didn't have any problems with the skates that came with it so that's nice but yeah i would definitely recommend it for 66 dollars that is amazing i will put the link of the mouse first link in the description be sure to use it it would really help me a lot and support the channel anyways that'll be it for my review of the attack shark x ajaz aj 159 apex i pray and hope that this video helped you in some way don't forget to stay grateful guys remember jesus loves you bye bye